Amazon alert, Amazon alert, you know, dang it, dang it, try this, uh, try this and not, these things are pretty dang cool. And they're really incredibly inexpensive, my friend. And you know what? Whew. Now, you can carry this. This is like a fifth pocket knife. Or maybe you could even put it on your key ring type thing. Deep carry pocket clip, right or left hand. Blue micarta. Or you can get natural G10. Or black micarta. Okay. $39.99 for the natural G10. So you might want to think about Oh, I'm sorry. It's transparent. Transparent G10. I had clicked on that. You see the box is highlighted, so it's $39.99. Check up. You never know. Sometimes they have coupon specials and stuff like that. I'll give you the link below. Try Visa Knives on Amazon. 2.32 inch, 59 millimeter length blade. The handle is made of micarta. Unless it's not. Unless it's G10, right? Okay. Um, and this is really... Uh, EDC, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it's the small, so they're saying, oh, yeah, this will be, you know, this would be more likely to be legal carry most everywhere because it's so small. Okay. Um, and it's, this is the one thing about this, and this is not the first Travis and I, if I've done, I mean, you know, talked several times, but I had to make a little list, maybe put it below the other Travis and I's that I've reviewed. But, uh, there's your standoffs here. It's my card. It's like denim type my card. It looks like to me blue my card, et cetera, et cetera. Like I said, deep carry pocket clip right, left hand. Okay. They're saying ceramic bearings on this. We'll take it apart and just have a look, see. But it's a liner lock. And there's your lock up. It's pretty good. It's 25% in any case. And then there's your pass through. And so. One thing for sure, this thing just drops. I mean, sometimes the little knives, they they don't they're not drop shutty because there's nothing to be drop shutty there. I mean, there's not enough weight on the blade to drop, and you know that kind of thing. But this one actually, and maybe it's just this one, okay? Maybe not the one you're gonna buy. I don't know. But if yours is like this one, it just drops. I mean, it's it's a nice. You know, I mean, it's not guillotine-ish, but it drops. Okay. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. At first, when it was dropping like that, I go, it's loose. It's got to be loose, right? It, no, nope, there's no play. And it's centered. Nope, it's not loose. It's dropping like it's loose, you know? So it's got that kind of like real drop shut feel. And it's 14C28N. And now, right now, I can't remember if we've tested these. You could look at my batch one, two, three, four that I've published on recent um, uh, XRF testing and stuff, along with Rockwell is the XRF and the Rockwell together. But I um, can't remember if I've done this. If I've done it, it may not have been on their 14C. It might have been on their D2 or something else, right? But I've tested a bunch of the off-brand, you know, Amazon knives. And I got more I'm going to test going forward, too. But as far as just a nice little easy carry knife, you know. And, of course, you know, if you're going to pay $45, well, then you could buy a send cut knife, too. But this one's small. So this is kind of like buying the CJRB Mica. Or the mini pyrite or something like that. That's that's how I feel, like this this kind of thing. So let's grab a piece of paper and just, you know, generally is it gonna cut anything? Okay. Um yeah, I mean it's got it's got a decent edge out of the box. I mean, I'm not my expectations are not sky high, but okay. Um, and it's really easy to flick and ambidextrous thumb studs and actually the design looks okay. Um, you know, it flows into the bolster there, blade to handle length, okay. Kind of, you know, kind of this raw ass micarta looking thing, which to me, if this was blue G10, I'd like it better. Cause you know, I always have these nightmares of like, I got oil or some kind of solvent or some goop laying on the workbench and... I lay this down and it starts soaking in. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's not like it's impervious like G10 is. I mean, you get G10 or even this like GFN or FRN. And uh, of course, now it's now it's dirty. But I could spray some solvent on here, wipe this off. I ain't going to soak it in, but it will clean this stuff off, right? This, rump row. But okay, okay, okay. But I mean, if you like my Carta, then it's got a real fabric feel to it. Over time, you know, your skin oils get in there and darken it down, etc., etc. That kind of thing. But, I mean, this weighs nothing. What did they say? Less than two ounces, right? But, I mean, it's just... Whoosh, whoosh. I mean, that, that's easy. Yeah, 1.95. Okay. Um, 55 grams. Okay. That's exactly what they said on their paperwork, too, on the, you know, Amazon thing I showed you. So... There you go, and you can have it in a couple days because it's in stock on Amazon, blah, 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 and always look down below the listing to see if they have a check this box for an extra 10% or $5 off or whatever because you never know when they're running stuff or not. Um, the hardware looks okay. You know, these little hardware things, they're not like a button top or whatever cap type. They're, I mean, this is, you know, kind of flat, kind of smooth machine look. To them so not too shabby there i mean they're as good as and i've you know three times the price as far as some of the hardware goes and obviously the thumb studs the same way and you got a nice stone wash on the blade there's no problem with that 14c got a lot of you know uh chromium in it so i mean it's good for even kitchen use and you know exposure to moisture uh, you know but you know don't overdo it you know take care of your blade and it'll take care of you so, and then for putting a lanyard on, or if you just want to roll it to a key, key ring or something like that, you could do that too. Now, as far as size goes, they were saying two point something inch blade. So a little over two and a quarter, 2.3 inch blade at what, uh, 59 to 60 millimeters and whew, uh, not even five and a half inches, five and three eighths uh inches at 13.2 centimeters okay so really pretty pretty short um 10.3 millimeter thick at 0.4 so that's nice and slender in the pocket and 0.08 so two millimeter blade stock okay so there's that super lightweight fidget friendly Centered up, no blade play, no lock rock. What do you think? I mean, you could look at some different Trevisa ones. And also, uh, I noted, hold on, hold on. Did I even print that out? And I didn't, did I? Okay, I didn't. Um, I believe White Mountain Knives carries these as well as Amazon. So check with them because LTK is your discount code for 10% off. First of all, Amazon, if you're not a Prime member, you're going to get charged for shipping. You're going to be charged for taxes. White Mountain Knives does not charge tax or shipping, okay? And you get 10% off. So if this thing's uh, 45 smackers, so you're down to about 40 bucks and 50 cents, and that's, you know, delivered and everything. On Amazon, 45 bucks plus tax and shipping if you're not a Prime member. So, okay, there's a big difference right there, okay? But just just to remind you, you might want to look at that. And look at the other Trevisa knives on White Mountain Knives and on Amazon and, you know, check it out and see what you think. But th there's what it looks like. And here's the box, okay? Here's the box. Boom, boom, boom. What does it say about it? Nothing. It's got an outer, you know, cover thing, okay? There's the inner box. Look at this. A chamois, the size you can you can chamois off your Peterbilt truck. Then a card saying inspected by who gives it crap and uh, geez, they're gonna love me. Okay, and uh, there's your paperwork. Here's how to build a fire with a stick. What are they doing? Oh, they're <laughs> they're sharpening. Okay, and a, a drawstring pouch. Um, and there's the plastic, it gives away plastic pouch, 
um, you know, a car chamois, <laughs> whatever. So, yeah, I mean, and paperwork and things that tells you that somebody actually inspected the damn thing. How did you have time to do that? For that much money, for so little, little money. And it's at least a hard box, you know, so it's pretty sturdy there too. But you'll probably take this, toss it in the garbage and go, Psh, I'm going to carry this around, throw it in my pocket. It's going to be a beater, redheaded stepchild type thing because why not, right? And, you know, you could hand it to the spousal unit, right? Because my wife, of course you know, after like a billion years, still doesn't know how to disengage a liner lock, but okay, she leaves them open all around the house. But I mean, one thing for sure, they can handle this, you know, and they're just opening boxes. They get back from shopping or whatever they're doing. It's not food prep because they got knives in the kitchen, at least mine does. And um, maybe not sharp, but they're in the kitchen because <laughs> I'm too damn lazy to sharpen them half the time. But um, you know, little thing like this, so they get they got a box from whoever or whatever, um, and they just want to cut it open and do this and that. And so, yes, she does. She she this is the one she picks up. In fact, she's been using my stupid CJRB mica, you know, the button lock that I really like. And so, don't tell her, but I ordered her a pink mica. From White Mountain Knives, I use my discount code. Um, so she'll like that because then she'll keep her hands off my blue mica button lock. But you know, this one, I'd gladly give up to her and that's fine. And so, you know, piercing, slicing, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. And you want to see if it really, really, really has ceramic bearings? I mean, I'm sure you're just breathtaking by the incredible value and design and everything. Actually, it's not a bad little design, to tell you the truth, but I'm just being a bit facetious. Oh, here we go. Woo! Baby, you know what? You just touch it, and it comes apart on its own. And, uh, what the hell? No. Seriously? It's a number eight body screw? Wow. That's amazing. Okay. Now I am duly impressed. Duly impressed. Okay, can we get over here? Okay, now pull this off. Well, Charlie. Come on. Okay, there we go. Sorry, Charlie. And are those the same? No, no they don't. Oh, the one up here. This is going through the standoff. No wonder the big boy here is bigger than the little boy okay there we go there's that now what do we got okay big mess and here's this so kick it open pull this little liner off if we could be so bold come on just let go and there it is and ceramic detent ball and captured pivot thing right so there's that Here's your captured, there's your the, there's your ceramic bearings. And uh, let's pop this. So we've got the flatsy flat right here. So yeah, it goes through, it captures on this side. So of course, you know, you got logo on here. You ain't got no way to, so, okay, you're good. But you know, bingo bango, right? I mean, that was real tough, wasn't it? That's it. So, uh. Skeletonized, okay. Super lightweight, easy to take apart, so it'll be easy to deal with, that's for sure. There is your disassembly. All right, and back with the Travissa boots, B O O T E S, right? The boots. I don't know. I mean, I don't understand the name, but boots dash O3. Maybe the O3 was the G10 uh, variant or whatever, but okay. So we got the blue micarta one here. Uh, check it out. Uh, Amazon or White Mountain Knives. Uh, see what you think about these. They're super budget friendly, easy uh, carry. Obviously this one is, but different kind of designs, etc. Just options, just options, okay? Because we do, we love them knives, you guys. 
Check out my website, lovedamnives.com. Pre-owned knives. You never know what you're going to see on there. Plus, we've got all kinds of LTK, PVD patches, koozies, channel stickers, that kind of thing. And, of course, the brand new Eutectic knives are here. And so we got a package deal on them as well. And, you guys, stay sharp.